um, t tests that you do uh, through that uh, utility in SPSS. You just have to do them sequentially, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, I don't know why SPSS doesn't do it. They, you get exactly the same significance values if you do a, pair, a series of paired t tests. So I don't know why SPSS doesn't give you the t values for these. Um, but we can see that they're all statistically significant. So the difference between time 1 and time 2, uh, the mean difference in, in numerical value is negative, one point, uh, negative 1 point 1.06, and it's statistically significant. And then time 1 to time 3, which is the biggest effect, uh, is a mean difference of negative 2.4, also statistically significant. And finally, the difference between 2 and 3 is also statistically significant with a level p less than 0 0.001 here. Uh, going to ignore the multivariate test again, uh, but I, I'll do a separate video about doing uh, repeated measures uh, ANOVA with a multivariate because it can be useful, and I'll just mention very briefly, uh, it's uh, also robust to rejecting the uh, Moshley test of sphericity assumption. So if you do not satisfy this assumption, you can do the greenhouse geyser correction, or you can just do a multivariate analysis of variance and uh, you'll also be protected that way. And finally, here's the plot of the means that I was talking about uh, between, um, between your um, conditions, and we can see that there's a very clear difference here. Uh, so this is a one-way repeated measures ANOVA, how you do it, how to interpret it, um, and with the effect size estimates and how that's different across when you do the trend analysis, which I'm going to do a separate video and go into more detail about that uh, in the future. So I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.